Can't wait.
we just take a pause a moment? for you. You came for him and he's here for you. So come on, spend a few moments in his presence. Come on. There's no rush. There's no rush. He wants to spend time with you. Come on. Whatever that looks like for you, if you want to kneel, if you want to lift your hands. The beautiful thing about our father is he knows his children individually. So what it looks like for the person left to you or the right of you may look differently for you. But the truth is, he desires something from each one of us. So come on, let's practice that tonight. Worship is not just a slow song. It's our lives poured out for him. Yeah, that's it. Come on, you can cry out. tell you why it's so important to worship him when we worship him we glorify him which means to make him larger and there's something about when you make him larger our human experience begins to diminish so the daily occurrences the trials of life when you worship and ascribe worth and value to the greatness of God the magnitude of what your problem seems like begins to vanish. It begins to go away. Doesn't mean it, it disappears. It means the power of it, it no longer has a hold on you. So I want you to learn, church, the importance of worshiping him, not just when you gather with your brothers and sisters. And while that is very important, because it's our faith that spurs and encourages each other on. But only you know the circumstances that you encounter from day to day. And if you don't know how to enter into the presence of God, the enemy, he will try his best to defeat you. But greater is he that's on the inside of you than anything that's in the world. He is not victorious. The power lies on the inside of you. And it's the power of the Holy Spirit that empowers you to speak life over every amount of darkness. 